Good morning, everyone, and we're doing another episode of Good Morning Soul, and today we're going to be talking about um, my tattoo. Yeah, I, like, uh, the last July 4th that happened, uh, as of the time of this recording, I got my first tattoo, and I don't know why, I'm, like, so interested whenever people talk about their tattoos, like... It's always, like, fun stories, and it also allows, like, me to, like, understand them, because usually tattoos have, like, sentimental value, and they have, like, little things that describe that person uh, in other ways. And even if the tattoo doesn't have, like, a reason behind it, and is just, you know, a cool tattoo, you know, that even says something about that person or whatever, right? So... I thought I'd do my own tattoo story today on Good Morning Soul, and I got this tattoo uh, in July, Um, me and my girlfriend, we got matching tattoos, and I have to go into a little bit of backstory for it. Um, There is a video game franchise called Kingdom Hearts, and I'm sure all the other nerdy people listening to this know what Kingdom Hearts is, but just for the other, like, 1% that watch my videos... Kingdom Hearts is a series um, in which, well, I don't even really need to go into what it's about. The point is, the opening to this game is about these kids who live on an island, and there's this thing on this island that grows there called Paupu Fruit. And this fruit, essentially, um, the tradition is you share this fruit with a person you want to spend the rest of your life with. It doesn't necessarily have to be romantic love or anything like that. Like, for instance, like, you can just eat this with, like, a friend. The point is, like, whoever you eat this with or whoever you share this with, it's like a bond, right? So, like, a week or two before I got this tattoo, my girlfriend and I, you know, I was saying, like, I really wanted to get a tattoo, and she said she was trying to get a tattoo, and, you know, we're a couple, so we're like, hey, we could get it together, we could even get, like, matching ones, and so... We spent, like, a couple, like, like an hour or two just kind of going over, like, these little ideas we had. We were thinking about getting, uh, uh, I think we were talking about getting a Pokemon one, and there was a couple other ideas we had. But instantly, um, we were talking about, you know, getting Paupu fruits, and, you know, that instantly, like, immediately I wanted to get that because... I love this series so much, Um, I like the idea, everything about it just screamed, yes, yes, let's do it, and so, and we're also going to get uh, some words attached with it, Uh, in Kingdom Hearts there is an opening theme that's kind of a meme and also kind of uh, like a big part of the series, Um, the opening song to Kingdom Hearts 1 is called Simple and Clean by Utada. And the opening song for the sequel, Kingdom Hearts 2, is called My Sanctuary, also by Utada. And so, when I when we went in to get these tattoos, I think most people should, like, boil on whatever they're going to get the tattoo of for at least, like, a month or two, or if not longer. Like, see if they really want it, and, you know, should do all these things. And despite that, I believe in that. We only spent, like, a week or two really doing that but like we went in to get these tattoos on july 4th and we um brought the idea up to them and we showed them this picture that we found online and instantly they were like eh this isn't gonna work perfectly the image that we presented didn't have like any areas where like black lines would be introduced like you need to have like black lines in the in your tattoo so they did their own sketch um uh both we had two guys working on our tattoos simultaneously they both did a sketch and we really liked the sketch and the instead of the word being on the side like we originally had uh there's like a ribbon going through the paupu fruit uh saying mine says simple and clean and hers says my sanctuary and i never had gotten a tattoo before so this was kind of nerve-wracking for me but um i went in there the guy i had do it you know he he had a cool little office area. He had like one arm full of tattoos. Um, you know, which even that was, I was kind of just like, do you need to have two arms to do a tattoo? The answer is no, because he did an amazing job. I really, I still love my tattoo to death. Everyone gave me a compliment about it. So I think it was a mission success. But, um, you know, I, I, I didn't know if it would hurt or not. It really, you know, it kind of hurts. 
uh, whenever they're kind of going over like certain muscles or whatever, it just, you know, it stings. Uh, if I were to describe it, uh, if you ever work in fast food or whatever, like um, grease fryer, like really hot grease fryer, it's kind of like someone like dipped something in hot grease fryer and they're just kind of like poking the shit out of your uh, whatever you're tattooing, right? Um, I got it on my calf, my left calf. And I don't know, if, that's probably a less sensitive area than some other tattoos, like, for, like, other body parts. So, I'm sure it hurts more for other people. But for me, it was kind of like, ah, that stings, but, you know, whatever. And, you know, my tattoo, like, was bleeding. Like, you know, it wasn't, it wasn't like a clean transition, but it came out beautiful. I really love it. It has a lot of color to it. You know, it cost a couple hundred dollars, but it was well worth it to me. And, you know, me and my girlfriend, uh, you know, having matching tattoos is obviously a lot of people immediately throw up red flags. But the way I look at it as, like, it doesn't have to be a matching tattoo. Like, even if we did break up, um, like, it's still a tattoo of uh, my favorite game. And it's a Paufu fruit, which has a lot more meaning than just uh, whoever you share it with. And it's like, I believe, like, whoever you date for, like, a long period of time, like, you're gonna have a part of that person with you for the rest of your life, whether you like it or not. So either way, like, the tattoo is going to have multiple meanings and all these other things, and I'm going to carry that for the rest of my life, and I'm completely okay with that. And I really like the fact that it says simple and clean. Obviously, you know, I love that song. Um, obviously... It has a lot of meaning for me, and I'm going to cover, like, everything that Kingdom Hearts as a series means to me. I want to do, um, I don't know if I've introduced the, the Soul Quest series as of the time you're listening to this, but, um, spoilers for, uh, if I haven't. Uh, I plan to do a bigger review series called Soul Quest, and I want, I want to do Kingdom Hearts, and in that video, I'm going to break down everything that this series means to me and all the little pieces of Kingdom Hearts and I'm gonna break it down into a video and it's gonna be an amazing video I'm gonna have props I'm gonna have all these things but um yeah that that is the story of my my tattoo that I got right here and um, I'm, I'm obviously gonna have a picture that you're probably looking at and you know I really like the design I like the colors my girlfriend's hers is a little bit more girly and a little bit more um uh, the colors aren't as like dark hers looks more like kind of peachy and mine is obviously like yellowy orange and I think that the the lines are like darker and thicker but um I think it came out pretty beautiful and whenever we uh, put our legs together you know it's it's a it's an art piece so that's pretty cool but uh, yeah I think that's gonna be it for today's episode I hope you guys have a good rest of your day and I'll see you tomorrow morning and with that I leave you